In order to use the motion formula to solve for acceleration, we first have to convert miles per hour to feet per second using dimensional analysis. The equation I have set up here reads 76 miles over 1 hour times 5,280 feet over 1 mile times 1 hour over 3,600 seconds. When we do this, the miles cancel out along with the hours, leaving us with feet per second. When you multiply 76 by 5,280, you get 401,280 feet over the original 3,600 seconds. When you divide, you get 111.42 feet per second. Now that we have the final velocity in feet per second, we can use the motion formula to solve for acceleration. Final velocity squared equaling initial velocity squared plus 2 times acceleration times the distance. Using the numbers, we can calculate the acceleration. Plugging in the numbers, it would read 111.42 squared equaling 0 squared plus 2 times acceleration times 60. When you score 111.42, you get 12,414.42. When you score the 0, it still equals 0. So now the equation reads 12,414.42 equaling 0 plus 2 times 60 equaling 120a. In order to get the a by itself, you divide both sides by 120. When you do that, you find out the a, or acceleration, equals 103.45 feet per second. Squared.